Shalaka ya Chaksurun militanye na Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shremati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Prejarine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavibio Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Can you, can you make me co-host to share the screen? Yes, Done, Gurdjieff. Okay. okay, so we're reading Nectar of Devotion, and we're just finishing the introduction here. We just have two, two, three small paragraphs to finish off the introduction. So, Srila Rupa Goswami had given definition of pure devotional service. So, in his definition of devotional service, Rupa Goswami uses the word jnana karmadi. Karmadi. Jnana Karmadi. So this Karmadi, Karmadi means fruit of work or work where you want to enjoy the results of the work. But these kind of activities, they're not going to help us to get pure devotional service. And there are many different kinds of renunciation which are also not good for Krishna consciousness. Uh, so sometimes people have ideas about what is spiritual and what is material. Some people think it's, oh, it's very spiritual. When I'm with my girlfriend, it's very spiritual. We have a very nice relationship. So it it may be it may be, but usually it's not. Usually, you know, a man and a woman together it's a very bodily concept bodily relationship, physical relationship. So we have to be very careful, we have to be guided by devotees to actually know what is the real standard of devotional service. So Rupa Goswami's definition is is generally accepted as the standard of pure devotional service. 
เรื่องตรงนี้เนี่ยคำสอนของคํานิยามของศิรุปกุศลนี้เนี่ยคือให้ให้ไว้ว่าการวิจารณ์เสียสารับใช้ที่บริสุทธิ์เนี่ยจะต้องเป็นอย่างไร The the meaning is that one should perform devotional service without philosophical speculation and without desire for fruit of activity. And it should we should perform activities which are favorable to Krishna. แล้วก็ควรที่จะทำสิ่งที่มันเป็นสิ่งที่เอื้ออำนวยในกิจนั้นที่สำเร็จ And we should perform these activities constantly without deviation without interruption แล้วก็ควรที่จะปฏิบัติมันอยู่เสมอโดยไม่มีการเบี่ยงเบนก็คือมีความมุ่งมั่นในการปฏิบัติ Anyabilasita sunyam jnana karma jana vritam anukuyena krishna no shilanam bhakti uttamam So bhakti utama means the highest devotional service is described in this way. ภาษาตรงนี้เนี่ยได้บอกไว้ว่าได้บอกถึงการวิจารณ์เสียสารับใช้แล้วก็บอกว่าการวิจารณ์เสียสารับใช้เนี่ยเป็นการวิจารณ์เสียสารับใช้แบบสูงสุดที่บุคคลจะได้รับ All right, but Rupa Goswami also gives another definition, which he takes from a scripture called the Narada Pancharatra. Ah, Rupa Goswami, he also gives another definition, which he takes from a scripture called the Narada Pancharatra. Ah, Rupa Goswami, he also gives another definition, which he takes from a scripture called the Narada Pancharatra. So that definition is also well known and often quoted by Prabhupad. He says, "Sarvo padi vinir moktam tad paratvena nirmalam rishikena rishikesha rishikena sevanam bhakti uchate." The meaning is that one should get, one should give up all kinds of material designations. ตรงนี้เนี่ยจะคำแปลที่ท่านท่องมาเมื่อกี้นี้นะคะจะแปลว่าเราควรที่จะเป็นอิสระจากชื่อระบุทางวัตถุทางปวง We designate we designate ourselves in many material ways. We say I'm a I'm a man or I'm a woman. I'm young and I'm old and I'm Chinese or I'm Thai or I'm Indian or I'm Farang. แล้วเราเนี่ยก็มีชื่อระบุต่างๆมากมายที่เราเนี่ยคิดว่าเป็นตัวเราก็คือเราจะคิดว่าเราเนี่ยเป็นชาตินี้เราเป็นชาตินั้นเราเป็นชาติไทยเราเป็นชาติจีนเราเป็นชาติฝรั่ง But devotional service means we should give up these different kinds of designations and we should just simply become Krishna conscious แต่ว่าการให้ต้นเสียสารับใช้เนี่ยมันหมายความว่าอะไรหมายความว่าเราควรยกเลิกไอ้ชื่อระบุตัวเหล่านี้ต่างต่างทั้งหมด We should get free of all material contamination. 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 And in this consciousness, we should use our senses in the service of the master of the senses. ด้วยการนำประสาทสัมผัสของเราเนี่ยไปรับใช้เจ้านายของประสาทสัมผัสที่แท้จริง So Lord Krishna is known as Rishi Kesh. Rishi means the senses, and Kesh means the proprietor. So Lord Krishna's name is Rishi Kesh, the proprietor of the senses. ชื่อกระชาเนี่ยทรงมีชื่อว่าริชิเคชซึ่งริชิเนี่ยหมายถึงประสาทสัมผัสแล้วก็เคชเนี่ยหมายถึงผู้ที่เป็นเจ้านายเพราะฉะนั้นพระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นทรงเป็นผู้ควบคุมของประสาทสัมผัสทั้งหมด Our senses belong to Krishna and we're meant to use our senses in His service. ประสาทสัมผัสของเราเนี่ยขึ้นอยู่กับกระชาแล้วมันหมายไว้เพื่อในการรับใช้พระองค์ When we use our senses in the service of Krishna, then we will become purified. 
When we use our senses for Krishna's pleasure, that is actually devotional service. But when we forget Krishna, then we're in consciousness of our body and we think the senses are for me to enjoy. We will, we will use our senses just simply to satisfy the demands of our body. And when we use our senses for our own body, for bodily pleasure, then we remain in the material world. But when we use our senses for the pleasure of Lord Krishna, that is actually devotion and that can free us from material life. But as if we identify ourselves as belonging, we are, when we identify ourselves according to the body, then we will, we will we will be on the bodily platform. So we become, it's very easy for us to become very attached to our material designations. We're thinking, I belong to this family. This is my family. I'm, a, I'm from this family. Or we think, I'm from this community. This is our, I'm a Nepali, or I'm a Thai, or I'm a Chinese. But actually we're all pure spirit souls. We're none of these designations. So when we're actually in knowledge of our spiritual identity, then we we come to a higher consciousness. Of course, we have to come to understand that we're eternally connected to Krishna, and Krishna is the master and we're his servants. We may have some, we may say, no, this is my family, this is my country, but this is, these are very temporary connections, these are not eternal relationships. So, the en our, our energy should be used for the purpose of understand for pleasing Krishna. We shouldn't just use only the body for the to, to for the purpose of the family or for the country. But we should think about how to serve Krishna. Krishna. 
ประเทศชาติของเราเองแต่เราควรที่จะคิดว่าเราจะรับใช้คริสตาได้ยังไง We have taken birth in many, many different families and in many different countries. And we've changed the body many times. So we have to understand our spiritual identity. And then we have to engage in the service of Krishna. And we should serve Krishna without material desire. We should not think, "What am I going to get from service?" We should simply want to please Krishna without any material desire. แล้วก็เราก็ควรที่จะรับใช้พระองค์โดยที่ไม่หวังอะไรตอบแทนโดยที่ไม่คิดว่าถ้าเราทำนี้เพื่อพระองค์แล้วเราจะได้อะไรการตอบแทน So when we serve Krishna in that manner, then that is actually pure devotional service. แล้วเมื่อไรแล้วถ้าเรารับใช้คริสต์นาในแบบนั้นเนี่ยอันนั้นเนี่ยจะเรียกว่าการพิจารณาเสียสารับใช้ที่แท้จริง So we should understand that. There's devotional service can be contaminated. It can be mixed by the modes of nature. It can be in goodness. It can be in passion. It can be in ignorance. Just like we may be chanting Hari Krishna. But we may be chanting Hari Krishna in the mode of ignorance or in the mode of passion. เหมือนกับการที่เราในสวดภาวนาฮาริคริชนาแต่ละการสวดภาวนาของเราเนี่ยอาจจะอยู่ในระดับตัณหาหรือระดับอวิชา Now it's not that it's not that the chanting is in the mode of nature, but it's us. We we're the ones in the mode of nature. The chanting is pure. There's a pure holy name, but we are in the modes of nature. ไม่ได้หมายความว่าพระนามเนี่ยอยู่ในระดับตัณหาหรืออวิชาพระนามเนี่ยบริสุทธิ์อยู่แล้วแต่แต่ตัวเราตัวเราเนี่ยอยู่ในระดับตัณหาหรืออวิชา We're the one we're influenced by our material desires devotional service itself is pure but we're contaminated การริตนเสียสารับใช้เนี่ยมันบริสุทธิ์อยู่แล้วแต่ว่าตัวเราเนี่ยตัวเรามันไม่บริสุทธิ์แล้วก็มีมลทิ้ง We bring our material desires into contact with Krishna's service. But we want to understand what is pure devotional service. Hmm. If we do devotional service, even in the mode of goodness, we want we're looking to get something. We want some benefit from it for ourselves. But when we do devotional service on the pure platform. Then we simply want to please Krishna. All right. So we're going into the chapter one, part one, chapter one: the characteristics of pure devotional service. ลักษณะของการอุทิศตนเสียสารับใช้ที่บริสุทธิ์คุณลักษณะ In Sri Mad Bhagavatam third canto twenty ninth chapter verses twelve and thirteen, Sri La Kapila Dev, while instructing his mother, has given the following characteristics of pure devotional service. ในสิมันบอกว่าตามภาคสามบทที่ยี่สิบเก้าสโลกสิบสองและสิบสามศิลาภริเชคาพิลาเดว่า
ขณะที่สอนมารดาอาร์เชนาอาร์เชนาอาร์เชนาคุณยังฟังฉันโอเคคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยังฟังฉันแล้วอาร์ชินาคุณยัง All right. So, did you read that section, that sentence? Only until, uh, only until like devotional service, as follow or something like that. Uh, yeah. My mother not not start that line yet. Yeah, Lord Kapila Dev instructed his mother. And it's been done here from Chao Kapila. Nee, son, คุณแม่ของตน And he told her about he told her about how to do pure devotional service. So he told it's very unstable. It's on and off. Anyway, Lord Kapila said Lord Kapila Dev said to his mother, "Those those who are my pure devotees and who have no desire for material benefit." Recording in progress. Back, back again. Yeah. Those who are my pure. Ah, uh, Guru Maharaj, you are mute. Yeah, I know. Arisha. Okay. Okay. So those who are my pure devotees and who have no desire for material benefit or philosophical speculation, have their minds so much engaged in my service that they are never interested in asking me for anything, except to be engaged in that service. They do not even beg to live in my abode with me. Good morning. พวกที่เป็นสาวผู้บริสุทธิ์ของข้าและไม่มีความปรารถนาทางผลกำไรหรือการคาดคะเนทางปรัชญาจิตใจได้แต่ปฏิบัติรับใช้ข้าไม่เคยสนใจที่จะขออะไรจากข้านอกจากขอให้ได้รับใช้พวกเขาไม่ขอแม้แต่จะมาอยู่ที่พระตำหนักเดียวกันกับข้า So we should note the main points about the characteristics of pure devotional service เราถึงตรงนี้เนี่ยเราควรที่จะโน้ตไว้เลยว่าสิ่งสำคัญของการวิจารณ์เสียสารับใช้เนี่ยมันคืออะไร First of all, the the devotee doesn't want anything in return for his service. แต่พี่หนึ่งก็คือสาวกเนี่ยจะไม่ต้องการผลตอบแทนที่เป็นกำไรอะไรจากการรับใช้ของเขา He doesn't want any benefit, any material benefit for himself. And he doesn't want to get involved in philosophical speculation, where the goal is to come to become liberated. So, the the devotee will be so busy, so absorbed in serving Krishna. That they never think to ask Krishna for anything. All they ask for is please keep me engaged in your service. 
ขอให้ได้มีโอกาสในการรับใช้พระองค์ตลอดไป And they don't they won't even ask the Lord that I want to come and live in your abode I want to come to the spiritual world they won't ask like that และไม่ขอแม้แต่ที่จะได้ไปอยู่ในตำพระตำหนักเดียวกันกับพระองค์ If we're asking Krishna take me to the spiritual world this is our material desire We should, We should simply want to serve Krishna. No other desire. Anywhere. We will serve Krishna anywhere. So Srila Prabhupada then continues to explain that there are five different kinds of liberation. One is to become one with the Lord. And then another is to live with the Lord on the same planet. The third one is to have the same features, bodily, physical features as the Lord. The fourth one is to enjoy the same opulences as the Lord. And the fifth kind of liberation is to live as a companion of the Lord. So a devotee, one who is a pure devotee, he he doesn't he doesn't want sense gratification, and he doesn't even want any of the five kinds of liberation. He simply wants to give service to Krishna. And he's so satisfied giving service to Krishna. He doesn't want anything else. So that is the actual characteristic of pure devotion. So that that was this definition. This is coming from Lord Kapila Dev in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the third canto. And he's describing about a pure devotee. And he's also describing the the primary characteristics of devotional service. Now there are there are more there are more different characteristics of devotional service are going to be described by Rupa Goswami. And Rupa Goswami is going to support his statements with evidence from different scriptures. And he explains that there are six different characteristics of pure devotional service. We have to understand that pure devotional service is. Also, in three different levels. Three 
So even if you're pure devotees, there's different levels of pure devotees. Some devotees are more advanced on a higher level than others. Mm. First of all, on the lower level, there is devotional service according to the rules and regulations. That is called sadhana bhakti or devotional service in practice. But then there's a higher level, there's devotional service in ecstasy. And de devotional service in ecstasy means bhava bhakti. And then there's devotional service in love of God, which is prema bhakti. No, prema bhakti. Oh, prema bhakti, sorry, sir. Yes, so three levels of pure devotion. Sadhana, sadhana Bhakti, devotional service in practice. And then second one is devotional service in ecstasy, Bhava Bhakti. And then the topmost level is devotional service in love of God, Prima Bhakti. Mm. All right, so there are six different characteristics which are all in relation to devotional service, pure devotional service. So the first thing is that pure devotional service brings immediate relief from all kinds of material distress. And then secondly, pure devotional service is the beginning of all auspiciousness. Then number three, pure devotional service automatically puts one on Trans, in transcendental pleasure. And then number four, four, pure devotional service is rarely achieved. Number five, those in pure devotional service deride even the conception of liberation. And number six, pure devotional service is the only means to attain Krishna. So those are the six characteristics. We will hear about each of these. They will each be explained to us. 
เกี่ยวกับการรีตัวเสียสารับใช้ที่เราจะฟังแต่ละข้ออย่างอย่างลึกเข้าไปอีก So Krishna is all attractive, but we should understand that pure devotional service attracts even Krishna. Krishna เนี่ยเป็นผู้มีเสน่ห์สูงสุดแล้วก็เป็นผู้ดึงดูดทุกคนแต่ว่าการอธิษฐานเสียสละรับใช้แบบบริสุทธิ์เนี่ยจะสามารถดึงดูดคริสต์ได้ That means that pure devotional service is greater than Krishna. นั่นมันหมายความว่าการรู้ต้นเสียสารับใช้ที่บริสุทธิ์เนี่ยยิ่งใหญ่กว่ากฤษณาเสียอีก It's it's transcendentally stronger than Krishna. บอกว่ามีพลังทิพย์แรงกว่ากฤษณา And pure devotional service is Krishna's internal potency. เพราะว่ามันเป็นพลังเบื้องสูงของพระองค์ So we we should understand how important it is to come to the level of pure devotional service. Uh, we can understand it's not very easy. It's not very easy thing to come to that level of pure devotion. เราจะต้องเราก็เข้าใจได้ว่ามันไม่ใช่สิ่งที่ง่ายเลยที่จะมาในระดับนั้นของการพิจารณาเสียสารับใช้ All right so first we're going to hear about the first characteristic that pure devotional service brings immediate relief from all kinds of material distress เราก็จะมาฟังในส่วนแรกก่อนที่บอกว่าการอภิตนเสียสารับใช้ที่บริสุทธิ์จะปกเปื้องความทุกข์จากทางวัตถุทั้งหมดได้ทันที So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that we should surrender unto Him and give up all other occupations. ในพระคัมภีร์ตาองค์กฤษณาตรัสว่าเราควรสิโลราต่อพระองค์ So that's a well-known verse. It comes in at the end of the 18th chapter, near to the end, verse number I think it's 66 in the Bhagavad Gita. นี่เป็นสโลกที่มีความสำคัญมากมาในช่วงบทสุดท้ายของหนังสือพระกฤษณาสโลกที่66 Krishna says, "Give up all occupations. Just surrender to me." I will free you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. Krishna บอกว่ามาสิโลราต่อข้ามาบูชาข้าแล้วมาสิโลราต่อข้าข้าจะเอาความบาปทั้งหมดของเจ้าไปจงอย่ากลัว So Krishna gives his word. He says he will protect a devotee who surrenders to him. พระกฤษณาเนี่ยให้คำสัญญาไว้แล้วว่าพระองค์เนี่ยจะทรงปกป้องคุ้มครองสาวกที่ศิโลราต่อพระองค์ He will protect the devotee from their sinful reactions. กฤษณาเนี่ยจะปกป้องสาวกจากผลกรรมผลบาปของพวกเขา That's what Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. เป็นสิ่งที่กฤษณาทรงตรัส And then Rupa Goswami, he says that the distresses which we get from sinful reactions are due to different causes. Yeah, we get distressed because of sinful activities, and that we did sins. Some things we did sin, sins in this life, and some things, some things, some sin, the sins, the bad activities we did also in our past lives, and we're still suffering from them. ซึ่งมันเราก็ได้รับมันในรูปของความทุกข์นั่นเอง So we have to know what it what is sinful activity. We should understand 
There are laws, just like there are laws for every country, what you can do and what you cannot do. There are also laws of God. And when we go against the laws of God, then we get punished for that. And some of the things which we get punished for, we did in our past life. Now, why do we do sinful activities? So, the reason why we do sinful activities is due to ignorance. But just like if the if the policeman arrests you for some something you did, and you say, "Well, I didn't know," they they, they will still find you. They will still take you to court, or you can still go to prison, even though you didn't know the law. You will still be punished by the state. But, but now, so we cannot just simply say, well, I didn't know, just like people may say, well, I didn't know it's wrong to eat meat. That's not an ex that won't get us free from the reactions. So we perform sinful activities, we get reactions for that. So Prabhupada explains to us here that there are two kinds of sinful activities. There are sinful activities which are mature and those which are not mature. So the, the sinful activities for which we are suffering just now they are called mature sinful reactions. But there are many other sinful activities, maybe from pre previous life also, and they may be within us, and we haven't suffered from them yet, but we will have to suffer from them in the future. So those sinful activities are called immature. We haven't suffered yet, but we will have to suffer in the future. Srila Prabhupada gives an example. He said, just like some man, he may have done a crime and he's, he didn't get arrested yet. activities but we, we did some sinful activities so we will have to suffer for these reactions for the activities 
นั่นก็หมายความว่าเราก็ต้องได้รับความทุกข์จากกรรมบาปที่เราเกิด And for some of them we're suffering just now, and for others we will suffer in the future. บางคนเนี่ยก็รับกรรมเลยตอนนี้ได้รับความทุกข์อยู่บางคนก็จะได้บางคนก็จะได้รับความทุกข์ในอนาคตต่อไป So we should understand it's like a chain of sinful activities and the reactions. เรามันก็เหมือนกับลูกโซ่ที่มีความทุกข์ติดตามอยู่สมอ Yeah, we do sinful activities. It brings reactions. We get suffering. เออถ้าเราทำกิจกรรมบาปเนี่ยมันก็จะมีผลของมันผลของมันก็คือความทุกข์นั่นเอง And we suffer life after life because of these different sins. และเราก็รับความทุกข์เนี่ยชาติแล้วชาติเล่า We are suffering now in this life because of the results left over from the past life. ตอนนี้เราเออเรามารับผลบาปของเราที่เราทำมันในอดีตชาติที่เราเคยทำบาปเราก็รับความทุกข์ในชาตินี้ And the things we are doing just now, the activities which we are doing, we are going to get reactions for them in the future, more suffering. The things that we are doing just now, the activities which we are doing, we are going to get reactions for them in the future, more suffering. Prabhupada gives an example about how people are suffering from sinful reactions. The Bhagavan gives an example about how people are suffering from sinful reactions. The Bhagavan gives an example. บุคคลเนี่ยมีความทุกข์กับผลบาปตัวเองอย่างไรบ้าง It's just like somebody may be suffering from some very horrible disease. That's it. That's the react sinful reaction for some bad activity. อย่างเช่นบางคนเนี่ยมีความทุกข์จากโรคร้ายซึ่งอันนั้นเนี่ยมันเป็นผลกรรมของอดีตของเขา And some other people are suffering due to Some legal, some legal case. They're, maybe they're involved in some legal problem, and they have to go to court. They have to spend a lot of money on lawyers. This is also due to bad karma. Some people, they will have some pain from the past. They will have to go to court. They will have to pay money. They will have to go to court. They will have to pay money. They will have to go to court. And then somebody else may be born in a very low, very degraded family, so that's also karma reaction. แล้วก็บางคนเนี่ยก็เกิดในครอบครัวที่ต่ำครอบครัวที่แย่มากอะไรก็เป็นกฎแห่งกรรมเหมือนกัน And sometimes people they don't get a chance to get any education. That is another kind of karmic reaction. And then sometimes also people can be very ugly. That's another reaction from the sinful reaction, sinful activities. Actually, we are all souls, but we identify with the body. We are thinking, "I am very good-looking," or "I am very ugly." It is all karma. ละเพราะฉะนั้นความจริงเนี่ยเราเนี่ยเป็นดวงวิญญาณแต่ว่าเราเนี่ยชอบกินเอาตัวเองชอบกินเอาตัวเองเนี่ยเป็นเอ่อร่างวัตถุนี้โดยที่เราโอ้ฉันสวยโอ้ฉันทุเรศมากอะไรซึ่งอันนี้เนี่ยว่าเราเราไม่ได้เป็นร่างกายนี้แต่เราเป็นดวงวิญญาณ So some people have very good karma. You can see, uh, I I have one god brother. Oh, he has his wife is so nice, and they have many children, and he has no problems. He, his father was rich and left him money. So I told him, I said, you have good karma, Prabhu. แล้วมีสิพี่สิทธิ์น้องของบุญมาคนหนึ่งเนี่ยคือเขาว่ามีภรรยาดีมากตัวเขาเองก็หน้าตาดีภรรยาก็ดีมีลูกๆก็ดีทุกอย่างดีไปหมดสุดทีนี้ท่านก็เลยบอกว่าเออประบุ
And he would say to me, he said, yeah, I know. He said, I, I, you're right. He said, I, I, I know myself. I've got good karma somehow. I've got, you know, I don't have problems with, I don't have to get divorced. No, I've been happy with one wife and I, we had nice children and, you know, I don't have economic problems. So we see we can see this body, the body in our and the and the situation which we are living in in this body, that is all due to our past karma. So we should understand there there's many, many activities from the past and some some things which we did were good and some things were not. And the things we do which are good then we enjoy the results, and the things which were bad, we suffer. So some of the things we're suffering at this moment, and others will be suffering in the future. But all the sinful reactions can be stopped by Krishna consciousness. So this is the special power of Krishna consciousness that it can change, take away all of our karma. And, and this is the effect. When we do bhakti yoga, when we do pure devotional service, it will destroy all the sinful reactions which we had from the past. So to support this, Rupa Goswami gives a verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam. From the 11th canto, 14th chapter, verse number 19. <coughs> so this is in connection, Lord Krishna is giving instruction to Uddhava. This section is what we call the Uddhava Gita. Lord Krishna is instructing Uddhava. So Lord Krishna says to Uddhava that devotional service to him is just like a blazing fire and it can burn to ashes unlimited amounts of fuel. Mm -hmm. Mm. So if we have, we may, we may have a fire. So it does if we if we put wood on or you put petrol on, then it will keep burning and burning more and more. Hmm. So the, the, this example is given to show us that just like fire can burn all the fuel, so devotional service can burn all the 
sinful reactions. We will take away all of our sinful reactions. So Srila Prabhupada says from just like in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna was worried that fighting was a sinful activity. But Krishna got him to go on the battlefield and Krishna gave him the instruction and told him to fight. And so it became devotional service. So because it was devotional service, Arjuna was not going to get any sinful reaction. So this is the power of devotional service. Okay, so we're going to stop there today. Are there any questions? Yes, Guru Maharaj. From Yuvati Sachi Mataji. First one. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, and dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All gl glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, what does it mean that we have to develop our relations with Krishna? Uh, uh, does it mean uh, only Shravanam, Kirtanam, and uh, serving to Vaishnavas, to deities? Uh, because we understand the relations as uh, some more private, uh, more intimate uh, association. Uh, how can we understand it correctly? Yes, well, we have to cultivate our knowledge of Krishna. We have to understand more about Krishna's teachings, Krishna's instructions. We have to know about Krishna as a person and how Krishna is responding and taking care of his devotees. อืมคําถามของมาดีนะคะก็ถามว่าแล้วเราจะเข้าใจถึงเอ่อเราจะเข้าใจถึงเอ่อชาวรังเกียรตินําได้ <coughs> And we want to be feeling a connection to Krishna personally. We want to feel Krishna in the heart, how Krishna is in our heart and how he's talking to us and guiding us from the heart. And we also have a relationship with Lord Krishna through his holy name, by chanting his name. And we like to take pleasure in singing the songs full of Krishna's names. And we sing songs like Yashumati Nandana Brajabara Nakara Gokularanjana Kahana. So we sing songs like this in Nam Kirtan by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We like to sing all the songs about Krishna to remind us of Krishna and his pastimes and his wonderful qualities. 
้แล้วไม่ใช่แค่เพียงแค่นั้นแต่บางครั้งเนี่ยเราจะร้องเพลงของคริชนาด้วยอย่างที่ท่านร้องให้ฟังเมื่อกี้นี้เพื่อเป็นการสรรเสริญลีลาของพระองค์สรรเสริญคุณสมบัติของพระองค์ And we like to see his beautiful form in the deity wonderful We like to go and see the deities in the temple, or we see the deities on the internet by the internet connection. We see the wonderful temples, how they're decorated, and how Krishna is appearing in his different forms. แล้วเราก็ชอบในการที่จะไปวัดเพื่อไปเห็นพระปฏิมาที่สง่างามเห็นถึงการที่พระองค์ทรงตกตกแต่งยังไงบางครั้งเราก็ได้เห็นผ่านทางช่องทางของอินเทอร์เน็ตด้วย So this is all cultivating our relationship with Krishna. เพราะฉะนั้นตรงนี้ทั้งหมดเนี่ยมันเป็นการที่มันเป็นสิ่งที่เราจะพัฒนาความสัมพันธ์ของเราก Krishna. You can speak to Krishna. เราสามารถรอเราสามารถพูดกับ Krishna ได้ You may write. You may like to write to Krishna. ตรงนี้เราสามารถเขียนถึงพระองค์ได้ And you can sing for Krishna. So we we want to connect everything which we do. Do it for Krishna. Just like when we bow down, we offer obeisances. We're offering our obeisances to Krishna. So in this way, you have to. We have to start feeling a personal connection with Krishna. He's a person. He's with us. We should feel connected to him. So we have to start feeling a personal connection with Krishna. He's a person. He's with us. We should feel connected to him. So we have to start feeling a personal connection with Krishna. He's a person. He's with us. We should feel connected to him. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much for your explanation. Okay. Uh, next one is Shaya Madhuji. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Then I will now please accept my humble obeisances, according to Sila Bhagwan. Uh, my question is: If we desire to serve Krishna at Koloka, um, is it means? Revelation or not? Revelation. Yes. I don't know what. Revelation, like Guru Maharaj. Liberation. Yes, revelation. Ah. Yes, if you serve Krishna in Goloka, it's that is perfection. The five kinds of liberation; those are in Vaikuntha. Right? This is the first of the five kinds of liberation. Those are in Vaikuntha. Right? This is the first of the five kinds of liberation. Those are in Vaikuntha. You have to have prema bhakti. You have to. You have to go even higher than Vaikuntha. Goloka is higher than Vaikuntha. So to go into Goloka, it's not just simply liberation. It's it's uh, perfection. It's the ultimate achievement. Baba. แต่อันนั้นเนี่ยถ้าแบบความปรารถนาเพื่อความหลุดพ้นเนี่ยจะสามารถไปได้ในส่วนของไวคุณค่ะแต่ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าจะไปในส่วนของโบโลกันจะต้องมีเปรมบักตีซึ่งอันนั้นเนี่ยเป็นความสมบูรณ์แห่งความหลุดพ้นอาจารย์นะค่ะเออคือพี่สงสัยว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราปรารถนาที่จะรับใช้อย่างเดียวอย่างเงี้ยแต่ว่าถ้าเราปรารถนาที่เราจะไปรับใช้ที่โคโลกะ
คือกรุมหาราบอกว่ามันคือเหมือนความหลุดพ้นใช่ไหมและอยากให้กรุมหาราอธิบายแบบเหมือนกับแนะนําว่าเราจะคิดแบบไหนมันเป็นอารมณ์แบบไหนที่เราจะรับใช้ถ้าเราไม่ได้รับใช้ที่โกลุกอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเข้าใจพี่ไหมอ่ะคือถ้าเราไม่เออไม่ถ้าไม่เราไม่คิดว่าเราจะไปรับใช้ที่โกลุกเพราะว่ามันคือความหลุดพ้นใช่ไหมคือคิดให้มันบริสุทธิ์ขึ้นในการการที่เรารับใช้อ่ะเราควรจะคิดแบบไหนอะไรเงี้ยที่เราจะรับใช้คริสนาเข้าใจพี่ปะเข้าใจแล้วค่ะเออที่มันไม่ใช่หลุดพ้นนะโอเคค่ะโอเคโอเคคุณมาราชเอสยูเซเอเลียร์ดัตอีเวนต์อีฟีวันทูเซิร์ฟคริสนาในโกลูกาดัตมีนวีเฮฟดิสไซอิสอะอิสคายน์ออฟไลค์มัตมีนวีชูดติ้งออฟเซิร์ฟิงฮิมเวอร์ออร์ไลค์ฮาวชูดวิติ้งโซดัตอิตวิลคอนซิเดอร์ทูบีไลค์พิวดิวอร์ชั่นเซิร์ฟิส Pure devotional service can be done anywhere, wherever Krishna puts us. ประจันการรับใช้พระองค์แบบแบบบริสุทธิ์เนี่ยสามารถเกิดขึ้นได้ทุกที่ที่ไหนก็แล้วแต่ที่พระองค์ที่โลกทิพย์หรือว่านรกหรือโลกมนุษย์ So devotee, the pure devotee is not afraid to go anywhere. He he sees everywhere, heaven and hell and liberation, all the. เนี่ยจึงไม่มีความที่จะกลัวต่อการไปที่ไหนไม่ว่าเขาจะต้องไปนรกไปสวรรค์หรือว่าไปโลกทิพย์ To Godhead he will take it whatever Krishna puts him he's ready to go the devotee so it's up to Krishna where Krishna wants to put him ถ้าสาวกมีการสิโลาบต่อ Krishna แล้วเขาไปอยู่ในที่ไหน Okay, thank you, Guru Maharaj, for your advice. Hare Krishna. Okay. Uh, Yogita Madhuri. Next time. Thank you, Sanjeev. Yes, ma'am. Hare Krishna. Please take some humble obeisances. Gurudev, I want to ask. Uh, normally in classes, especially the Bhagavad Gita class that we attend, Sri Radhikamaji, we're told that uh, you should always want to get out of the material world, and so you know, uh, engage in Lord Krishna's service and want to get out of the material world. Must always have that desire because we are not pure to stay here. I mean. We will not be able to tolerate to stay here, so that's what we are told. There's no harm in desiring to always be engaged in the service, but out of this material world, tell the Lord to make us leave this material world. So that is what I was just thinking. But it's a bit got tied up when I heard that it doesn't matter wherever we stay. So how do I look at this, g u r u d e v Well, ultimately, we have to surrender to Krishna. What is Krishna's plan? What does Krishna want? Mm. 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 Where is? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mother Ji, now, I'm going to ask. When we learn about the Bhagavad Gita, in that time, we have to listen to the part where we have to. พยายามหลุดพ้นออกไปจากโลกแห่งความทุกข์นี้เราจะต้องมีความต้องการที่จะออกไปจากที่นี่อะไรอย่างนี้แล้วพอมาฟังวันนี้เนี่ยเหมือนกับบอกในทำนองว่าเราเราจะเราไม่ต้องการที่จะไปหรือไม่ต้องขอพระเจ้าให้ไปโลกทิพย์ก็ได้อะไรอย่างนี้ตรงนี้เราจะควรที่จะทำยังไงสถานีกุลมาราบอกว่าความคิดที่ออกไปจากโลกวัตถุนี้เนี่ยมันมีก็คือดีแต่ว่าท้ายที่สุดแล้วสุดท้ายเนี่ยเราจะต้องสิ่งเราลาบต่อพระชนะนั่นก็คือหมายความว่าพระองค์อยากจะให้มันเป็นไปแบบไหนเนี่ยมันก็ควรมันก็เราก็จะยอมรับให้มันเป็นไปแบบนั้น Ultimately Krishna is the master we're the servant so we just surrender to Krishna wherever Krishna puts us that is the spiritual world Krishna has put us here 
For a devotee, pure devotee, there's no difference between the material world and the spiritual world. He sees everywhere Krishna. เราเมื่อเราเนี่ยเป็นพัฒนาแห่งอารมณ์แห่งการเป็นผู้รับใช้ต่อพระองค์แล้วเนี่ยเอ่อพระองค์จะทรงเอาเราไว้ที่ไห
than to want to be recognized. To want to be recognized for our service, that's the mode of passion. Mm. The mode of passion will always result in distress. So we should be very careful about acting or working in the mode of passion because we know it's just going to give trouble. And one should be want to be recognized by Krishna, not by all the devotees, but by Krishna. And Krishna knows everything. Krishna knows what we're doing. We don't have to tell him. We don't have to have somebody read our name out to Krishna to tell him who did it. Krishna knows. But if somebody is not thinking in this way, it means they're not, they, they have, they've forgotten Krishna. They're not thinking about how Krishna is omniscient, how Krishna is everywhere, he knows everything. So people have to become more Krishna conscious. We have to realize, we have to understand Krishna is no, Krishna's everywhere and he knows everything. We don't have to tell him anything. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Vaishnavi Mataji has a question. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, my question is about the sinful activities. Uh, is it like during the, the initiation, uh, a devotee is uh, giving up all his sinful activities? And um, I have seen some devotees, uh, very nice devotees who have been practicing for a long time. Sometimes they get some health problems or disturbances from family members that become a hindrance in their devotional service uh, and they might feel like uh, they wanted to do de real devotional service, don't want to end up wasting their time with the doctors, hospitals. Uh, and uh, why is that coming, Guru Maharaj? Uh, because uh, actually by their uh, devotional service, uh, they should have uh, been uh, removed of all the sinful activities. Thank you. Well, you have to understand when Krishna says relief from all sinful activities, you have to have come to a certain level of devotional service in order for that to take place. รับการประสมบทเนี่ยในช่วงนั้นเนี่ยหมายความว่าคนบางเราทั้งหมดเนี่ยมันจะหายไปแบบนั้นหรือเปล่าแล้วก็หลังจากนั้นเนี่ยค
you know, I'm, I'm a devotee, I took initiation. But how much did they surrender? How much did they actually really surrender? At, at the time of initiation, one is meant to surrender fully. And so we may take initiation, we may not have fully committed ourselves. We, we, we still have a lot of identification with the material world. We still have, you know, a lot of attachments, our family members and our property and so many things which we have, which we value. We have a lot of material attachments. We were thinking I've surrendered just because I've taken an initiation. But it, initiation is not just simply sitting in the fire yagya and saying four principles and getting a spiritual name. The initiation is meant to actually end one's material identification with the world. การอุปสมบททิฏฐะจริงเนี่ยไม่ได้หมายถึงการที่เราจะไปนั่งทําพิธีของไฟแล้วก็นั่งได้รับชื่อใหม่แล้วก็บอกว่าสิ้นสี่
Krishna doesn't say, oh, take initiation, you won't get sick. No, of course, you're still going to, you still have the material body. Sometimes you'll get sick, sometimes you'll get disease, sometimes you'll we'll suffer. But we'll see these things in a Krishna conscious manner and we'll become more attached to Krishna. Do you understand Vaishnavi? Yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand. We have to see in a more Krishna con conscious manner. Why Krishna is putting us in a situation? We have to become more intense. Maybe this is a plan to become make us more uh, determined in devotional service. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand now. Okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. All right. Uh, so, yes, Guru Maharaj. So. Uh, I am not sure about uh, Chinese devotee have some question or not. Uh, Sati Mataji. Krishna. Yeah. Krishna Mataji. Some question are there? Yes. Okay. Kumarat, Nin, Kayi Machida, Nimsima. Kayi, Kayi. Shall we have one? 就是我们今天讲到纯粹的奉献服务 或者是我们在，就是多从事一些奉献服务，我们就想着我们最后要呃回归灵性家园。我们有这些灵性的这个动机，这个是纯粹的奉献服务吗？哦。So is our material desire to go back to Godhead? Is that? If, I, if we have motivation to go back to the spiritual world, is that still pure devotional service? Yes, certainly. Sometimes Prabhupada would speak to us in that way that he wanted us to have that desire to just go back to Godhead and to be fascinated by the spiritual world and just want to go to the spiritual world, he would encourage us in that way. Other times, he, then he would tell us we shouldn't have any desire, we should just want to only serve Krishna as Krishna desires. So he would vary both, sometimes he'd say one way, sometimes he'd say another way. Of course, we, we should try not to be too sentimental about these things, just like, you know, people always want to keep, I want my family to go back to Godhead, I should have my husband and my children and my mother and my father and my dog and my cat, they should all be there in the spiritual world. <laughs> So, we have to uh, be attached to Krishna. We can't be too much attached to the family members, you know. Yeah, I can understand you'd like your family also to be devotees, but 
you have to appreciate that not everyone in the family is willing to be a devotee. They don't want to be devotees. And still, we can desire their welfare. We can desire a better life for them. Just like Prahlad Maharaj, you know, he desired for his father. He didn't, because his father was a real demon and his father had fought with Lord Nishringadev, so Prahlad was worried that his father would go to hell. But the Lord Nishringadev said that, no, your father wouldn't go to hell because Prahlad was such a good devotee that Prahlad's father would get a good life, a better life. Next slide. And Lord Nishingadev said not only Prahlad's father, but for many generations, Prahlad's family, they would all they would all be liberated, they would all have a good life in the future. Because of Prahlad, because Prahlad was such a good devotee. Okay. 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 谈到这个奉献服务与主的这个Rasha的时候,也有与主成为朋友,这两个之间有什么区别呀? Mm. What is the difference to being, being a, an, an, an associate of the Lord, on the same planet of the Lord as an, an associate of the Lord? And what is the difference in being a, a friend of the Lord and Rasha? Well, that rasa which we were mentioning about Satya Ras, you know, that's going to be more in uh that's more in the mood of Goloka Vrindavan, because in Vaikuntha you don't get so much. You may be an associate of the Lord, but still the Lord is there in Vaikuntha. The Lord is, he's the Lord, you know, he's the, he's the king. And, you know, you're his, we're his servants. So in Vaikuntha the rasa is more servant, dasa rasa. Even though you may be an associate, you may be with the Lord, on, but still you're there as a servant. But in Goloka, it's different, that there's more intimacy there in Sakyaras. Like the cowherd boys, they enjoy so much friendship with Krishna. Mm -hmm. ก่อนการที่มีความสําคัญกับคริสต์นาแบบในลักษณะต่างๆแบบนี้เนี่ยจะมีในในโลกทิพย์ในเอ่อที่ไว้คุณจ่าเนี่ยจะเป็นในลัก
Swati, hi, you want to know? Yeah, last question. How do you get the chance to do pure devotional service? It's very rare to get the chance to do pure devotional service. So how can we get the chance to do pure devotional service? Okay. Well, that's by the mercy of the spiritual master, by the mercy of the pure devotees, we get the mercy of Krishna. Yes, it's very rare. It's very rare to get pure, but the pure devotees are more merciful than Krishna. Krishna will very rarely give pure devotional service, but the pure devotees are more, more merciful than Krishna. Uh, so you, you want to get the mercy of the devotees. That's the secret. We got, we want to, that's why all the people in Vrindavan, they all worship Radharani. They want to get the mercy of Srimati Radharani. Okay. Hare Krishna. Okay. So we'll stop here today. Thank Archana very much. And thank all the devotees. Okay, Hare Krishna, we'll see you on Wednesday. Frila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. 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 Jai